Yo, what's up? It's your boy Nitro High Fire here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to make a really quick video talking about my favorite camera. And uh, my favorite camera is not the camera I'm actually shooting on right now. My favorite camera is actually this one. Bam! This is the Canon 80D. Uh, this camera is precisely eight years old. It came out in February 2016. And uh, it's a beast of a camera. This thing is very tanky. I love it for that because of the fact that um, I have dropped this camera plenty of times, but I, I do like how tanky it is. It's not that I'm not being careful with the camera, you know, accidents happen and um, it's always good to know when you drop this one, it's not going to be the end of the world because it's kind of built to last. Um, another reason I like it is because it's weather sealed, I can take it out in two uh rain situations and things like that and i have to worry completely about everything uh messing up or everything being a bit uh dangerous for my camera to be out there and another reason why i prefer a dslr over a mirrorless camera because we know mirrorless cameras are taking off right now the reason i prefer the dslr camera is because of the fact that the batteries last so long on these what's really cool about having these is that you can literally turn off the back screen and the camera is still functional it's still on you can still take pictures you can take video it is awesome for that because you can save battery life by doing that and so um i just really wanted to make a really quick video and talk about like why this camera an eight-year-old camera is my favorite camera rather than something that's newer that i have with me and the reason being is because um camera technology has not progressed that much since eight years up until now like uh the the rate that it has gotten better is just marginal especially in this price point um what's really cool is um the, the main thing that you can focus on if you want good camera quality or good image quality is going to be a quality of lenses. Uh, you want to pick up some good lenses that are primes. I shoot primes primarily right now. Um, this lens I have on it is a Canon 24mm STM f2.8. Um, it's really cool, good in low light, and, but the best part about it is that it has a really sharp image. My favorite thing about the lens though is how small it is. Like this is what they call their pancake lens. And to be honest with you, I actually did not need this lens <laughs> when I bought it, but I wanted it because it was so tiny. Uh, one of the things that I kind of don't like about shooting with the bigger cameras uh, is the fact of how much distance the lenses uh, give you when you are using um, most lenses on cameras, <laughs> like how fat and big they are. Uh, this, cam this lens kind of makes it small and tiny and it's compact. And so like if I'm out on doing some street photography or anything like that, I can pull out the camera, pop, pop, pop some shots real quick. And it, you know, the camera doesn't have to be like big and bulky. It's, it's kind of more low key. Uh, although this thing is huge. I will say one of the things I do like about it that they're that they've kind of started doing with more mirrorless cameras is that they've kind of started making mirrorless cameras lighter and for me i kind of like this weight man this thing feels like a brick like you can probably kill a man with this with this camera <laughs> if put in the right situation but uh, um let's see what one thing i want to look up real quick while i'm here is the of how much is this camera is going to cost right now so we're going to pop over here on ebay we're going to search the canon add and we're going to see how much they're selling for right now um let's see like the first one that pops up on the screen uh, we have a pre-owned uh, model here for 800 dollars, and it comes with two battery packs two lenses like bro like this is this is a value deal and if you thinking about getting into youtube or thinking about getting into cinematography or photography or anything like that i can highly recommend this like this this camera i've always wanted one it was really interesting because i've had better supposedly better cameras um i had mirrorless before i went and got the add but i saw the add at the camera store and i just kind of had to have it because i've always wanted one and I don't regret the purchase, surprisingly. Um, my mirrorless camera dies on me all the time. 
uh, because the battery power is not as strong as it for, for um, perspective wise I shoot with the Canon RP um, it's full frame also full frame uses a lot of battery uh, this is a crop sensor so that's one thing um, it gives you a bit more range but um, one of the downsides I guess would be the fact that it's not 4k um, a lot of people are really looking for 4k right now but as I tell people when it comes to 4k resolution is all about screen size for the most part um, a lot of times um, you don't realize that 1080p is good enough for most things because 1080p is this size and 4k is going to be this size and benefits of 4k is that you could crop into an image down to 1080p and still have a sharp image so you can kind of cover up any mistakes that you make along the way um, but i always say that you can fix your framing fix your style of filmmaking to kind of comp you don't have to like you can take your time with your shot to to so you don't have to worry about trying to fix it in post. Um, I feel like some of these tools that we're getting are, are kind of making us worse. It's kind of like uh, we're we're not having to work on our skills as much. So definitely worth the pick pick up is the Canon 80D and any set of good primes, man. The Nifty 50, those that's a cheap lens. It's, it's uh, usually around 100 bucks. And uh, the EF mount is still great because it has so many lenses for it. And I think they're, and they're pretty much done with the EF mount. Um, all the lenses that I've ever gonna come out for have already come out. And I really doubt they're ever gonna make anything else for the EF mount. Um, but the best part about it is that you, you can find EF lenses uh, cheaper used, especially people who are trying to get rid of them so they can upgrade to the RF mount lenses and things of that nature. So um, yeah, definitely worth the value to pick up and um, I can't recommend it enough like I, I don't really know like what a downside will be for for a camera like this at this price point with with this with this like versatility how rugged it is it's like I don't I don't really know what's a downside it has has a headphone jack has a mic jack has, has HDMI like bro secondary screen on top like it, it, it's so many features it's so ergonomic it feels so good in the hands um i guess if i had to reach for a downside a reach for one like uh this lens here boom this is a, a very sexy lens this is the sigma 18 to 35 um, a lot of professional shooters use this lens on a lot of their shoots and i would say a downside is that this lens is probably the perfect pairing for this camera but i will say this lens is super heavy and this camera is super heavy so putting both of these together at the same time um, is going to give you like a lot of weight um, I was on some training tracks uh, walking to go get some shots and I carried this camera in hand the entire time with the uh, Sigma 18 and 35 in my hand and uh, my wrist was hurting for like the rest of the day. It was insane. I, I didn't realize how heavy this camera was. <laughs> but, but if you're looking for a new camera to pick up, that's going to be kind of affordable um, for 2024 and you're looking to get into photography filmmaking and things like that pick it up man like i can't recommend it enough but um dslrs are are a lost part of the craft and i think they should never die but anyway it's your boy nitro high fire uh let me know what you guys think about the canon 80d if you have one if you use one if you ever wanted one um there is a 90d version that's out right now um as well it's kind of newer more updated but it's really the amount of features that they updated on it. Um, like if you want to put some extra money towards the 90D version, um, I would say go ahead. Uh, it does have 4K shooting, but unfortunately the 4K is cropped. So you're going to be uh, cropping into that sensor a bit more, which cropping into sensors don't really bother me as much, but I know it bothers a lot of people. But um, to get you know 4k across the entire sensor is actually something that you're gonna get in the higher end cameras or cinema cameras and things like that um those are something that you're gonna have to pay a bit more money for <laughs> but anyway um like i said uh grab this camera man it's awesome and uh yeah 